Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I've done a makeup look using the fairly new, it was for like Valentine's Day so I guess nobody's that new anymore, the new Sugar Pill Feline Fancy Collection. If you watched my haul video you would have already seen this and I'm just so excited because I love these colours, I love the packaging and I'm really excited to show you just kind of like a demo of like how these work, what they look like, how they feel when they're applied. And I'll leave a link down below for where you can get this. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into it. So I've got the little set here. I've just taken it out of the main packaging. This is what the main packaging looks like. If you watched my haul video, then you would have seen this already. It's got this beautiful illustration on here. It's so cute. As you know, this is for their Valentine's collection. Um, so here I've got... The palette and the lipstick and this is just comes inside it's sort of like slid in there I'm just gonna take this out of the box okay so you've got four colors in here and if we just open the, oh my god the magnet on here is really like really strong I'm sure you're really interested in the magnet of the box but hey ho. okay let's open this up oh yeah so the art is by Brandy Milne and then there's brandymilne.com oh that's pretty cool in case you'd like to know so this comes with Sorry, a bird just like flew out of my window. <laughs> it always happens to me while I'm filming. Okay, so this comes with this matte brown shade, this sort of shimmery red colour, and then you've got this, um, I've got in a really weird order here. And then you've got this sort of like light champagne highlight colour, and then this sort of a lighter pinky peach shimmer colour. Now, you can use this for eyes and for face, so I'm going to be doing both today. I'm going to be using it on my eyes and I'm going to be using it as like, I'm going to try and use this just to, I've put on a little bit of cream contour already because I did like a testing some brushes video, so I've already got my foundation on. Um, but I'm going to use this just to set my contour, I can use this as a highlight and I might try using a bit of this one as a blush because I think this will be um, too dark for me as a blush. Okay, so I'm going to start off by taking the colour text me which is this matte brown shade and I'm gonna take this on my Real Techniques contour brush I'm just gonna sort of dab in there lightly because these are very very pigmented from what I can tell I have sort of swatches on my hand but I haven't actually put them on my face at all okay so I've just sort of contoured with that colour this is a really nice shade I think for my skin tone personally it's not too warm toned and it's not too dark or anything but it still gives quite a nice sort of yeah very lightly contoured look um, next I'm going to go in with Wink as my highlight actually no sorry I should do blush first shouldn't I so I'm going to go in with SWAK I'm not sure what that means I'm sorry if, I, if it means something but I don't know what it is I'm going to go in very lightly on this this is just like a 17 blush brush Oh, um, what did I, what did I do? Okay, it's fine. I just need to like blend it. See, I should have done what I did before and not used too much in one go. This looks like a really nice sort of peach colour on the cheeks though. I really don't wear blush a lot, so why is this going on so I don't know if this is the brush doing this, but it looks sort of like, do you see that? That bit's like gone randomly like dark for no reason. Okay, so yeah, I've just tried to use a bit of this SWAK colour as blush, and it looks remotely passable on the camera. In person, I like have a bright peach like circle, and then like a bright sort of pink thing, like that's definitely like a duochrome colour, and it like, it's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot. So I'm going to go in and, oh my god, literally, there's like peach hair and pink hair. And it just doesn't look right. So I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush and just sort of blend this out a bit. Okay, yeah, that looks fine on camera, but in person it did look quite dark. So that's the problem when you're fair like me, is that basically you put any blush colour on and it's like, it's too much. But that colour, wow, I think that's going to be so cool on the eyes, because this is like a this is like a duochrome. I'm just going to do a quick swatch with my finger. Ooh, that is like, that is a pretty colour. Um, okay, I'm just going to go in with Wink as highlight. Which is this kind of like, yeah, like a champagne-y colour. I'm just going to take it on this Spectrum um, tapered highlighting brush. I think it's called like the Tulip brush. 
Okay, so I do think this is really pretty as a highlighter. I think um, if you've got a deeper skin tone than me, it might be a little bit too light because this is quite a sort of pale colour. But it does have that pink reflect in it. So if you like sort of cool toned highlights, I think that would be quite nice. Okay, so I've just primed my eyes with the Max Soft Ochre and quickly lined my eyes because I'm really excited to put this on. So um, I'm just going to go in with my Smashbox brush, which is kind of like this, like crease brush this is clean I just I've already sort of dipped into it once I'm just dipping into that text me color and I'm just gonna apply this in the crease okay so this is like a really nice warm matte transition color this is the perfect transition shade on someone who's sort of um, medium or lighter and I think if you were sort of deeper in complexion then you could start off with a slightly darker color and then maybe use this but um you could probably use this because it's quite a versatile sort of colour. It's just a sort of, yeah, slightly warm toned matte brown shade. These are also like the first products I've ever tried from Sugar Pill. I've never had anything of theirs. I've always just heard good things about them, but I've never tried it. So I thought, let's go all out and buy the set to start it off with. Okay, so I'm just going to go in my Spectrum CO6 and just sort of blend that colour. Okay, so I really like that colour. That's a really nice sort of like matte brown shade. Um, if it looks a little bit patchy here, it's just because of that dry spot on my eye. But it's it's getting there. It's getting slightly better. Um, yeah, I think this is a really nice colour. I wish it was a little bit darker. So I'm going to go in, back in with the same brush. I'm just going to build up the colour a little bit more. Okay, so I just added a little bit more of Text Me into the crease and sort of blended it out. And I'm in a real debate about which colour to put on the lid, whether to use this SWAK colour or to use this Kiss Kiss shade. Because, oh my god, this red one. Like, wow. Oh my god, look at that, it's so beautiful. I do think the shimmers in here are a bit more smooth than the mattes. That matte took a little bit of building up, but like the overall consistency of it I'm quite pleased with. Um, oh. I think I'm going to have to go in with Kiss Kiss, and then I might do, oh no, okay, I'm going to go in with SWAK over the lid, and then I'm going to put a bit of Kiss Kiss on the outer corner, or maybe all over, depending on how it goes. Okay, so I'm taking this Eco Tools brush, I'm just taking this sort of flat side, and I'll go in with SWAK, and I'm just sort of popping that on there. Okay, so on camera this looks really like wishy-washy and not very good at all. But in person that pink colour is like this most bright duochrome sort of shade. It's absolutely stunning. It just, it's really not sort of picking up on the camera. Like, it's got like a bluish sort of shift to it and it's a lot brighter than it appears. I've also put it on my lower lash line and kind of in the corner and kind of everywhere because it's so pretty. So I'm sorry about the disappointing sort of lighting because this is really not showing up what it looks like in person in person this is a beautiful pink duochrome color but uh i don't know i'll take a try and take a really good photo of it and put it on instagram i'm going to take kiss kiss which is this red color and i'm going to sort of put this on the out of the oh wow see these colors are just stunning oh you can see that on camera that one's showing up I'm just sort of putting this like right in the crease. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I'm just, I kind of want to use every colour and I'm just trying to find a way to do it. Right, I apologise for the fact this is unblended, but the sun has just come out and you can kind of see the colours a little bit better right now. Um, so I'm just going to go in and blend that out with the same CO6. So I've just sort of put Kiss Me kind of right in the crease. Just sort of below, um, text me. Did I say kiss kiss? Yeah, so sorry. we we'll use kiss kiss in the crease and then, um, text me is kind of the transition colour. And in person we've got this kind of like pink to kind of like red burgundy like brown colour. Okay, so I've just gone in with a little bit of SWAK back on the lid. Just because I kind of blended a little bit out when I was doing that other colour. 
Okay, so I am in love with those colours. I really like them, actually. They look a little bit, like, drab on camera. It's starting to look a little bit better now. But, um, they really are really impressive. I'm... I can't just get over how well they seem to blend together but they like stand out like you put one colour on top of the other one and they blend together but the other colour still like you can tell they're two different shadows if that makes sense um, I'm just going to go in with this sort of little angle brush and I just want to highlight the inner corner see whenever I put red eyeshadow on then I really start to look like a vampire I just notice I'm looking at myself I'm like wow you look like you belong in like the film Underworld or something I actually love that film Fun fact about me, I love vampire movies. I haven't watched a good vampire film in a while actually. I've got that like Dracula Untold on my Netflix list. I haven't watched it so I don't know if it's any good. Okay so I've just added some eyeliner and mascara but I think I really need to just show that because it's just the same things I always use. And well, I'm really pleased with this look. On camera it just looks like one or two colours. but. It, Oh yeah, my, eye, my my mascara looks like it's smudging there, but it's not. It's just my I, it's where my eyelashes are like curled up. If that makes any sense. Um, no, it's this really beautiful duochrome color, and then that red is gorgeous. I really like that highlight for the inner corner. And finally, we've got the lipstick to try as well because I've never actually tried one of Sugar Bros lipsticks either. I also really love these colors with my eyes. I think they they're really nice if you've got sort of like bluey greeny sort of eyes right so this is in the color strange love and this smells like oh, like sweets it smells like i think it's supposed to be like cotton candy or something but it smells amazing and i can't wait to try this color because it's like a really sort of rich berry burgundy sort of color um well my hands look really big then um so i'm just gonna go straight in with this i'm not gonna use a lip liner or anything yeah, I usually don't use a lip liner with liquid lipsticks. So it's just, just got like a regular doe foot applicator. It kind of looks like the Jeffree Star ones. I mean, I know the com the components are the same because, well, there's only so many packages you can have for liquid lipsticks. Um, yeah, I know they use the same component, but I think they might have the same, very similar applicator anyway. Okay, so it's taken me like quite a long time to put this on. I think it's because I'm not really used to this kind of formula because it is like a metallic colour. Um, it feels ever so, ever so slightly like, like textured. I think that's just because there's the little like, there's like little tiny like micro shimmery bits in here. It doesn't feel like grainy or anything. It just feels slightly different to a matte liquid lipstick, but that's just to be sort of expected. Um, this colour looks a lot more brown on camera. In person, it's definitely more of like, yeah, it's putting a little bit more brown on camera, but it's actually more of like a berry sort of tone. But I do really like it. I think it goes quite well with the palette. I think it's all very cohesive and I think it works well together. Because I was able to use every single colour in the palette and use a lipstick together. Oh my god. I think I had a little bit on my teeth. Um, so overall, I'm really quite pleased with this. This was... I believe thirty four ninety five. I'll list the exact price below, and you can currently get this on Cocktail Cosmetics website. So I'll put a link to their website down below, and where you can find this. Uh, so overall, I'm really pleased with this. I do think that um, this might take a little bit of getting used to, just because it's a different formula than what I'm used to, but that's okay. Um, these eyeshadows are really beautiful. I especially love the shimmers. I think I probably usually just use. Um, I could use a different range of mattes that I've got in my collection and then just any of these shimmers all over the lid would be really great And yeah, I'm really pleased with this. The packaging is beautiful And I definitely want to try some more sugar pill products out because they've really outdone themselves with this little collection If you can get your hands on it, then you should definitely um, Definitely indulge. It does actually say on the packaging indulge yourself, so um, I would definitely give this a go or if not just try out Sugar Balls eyeshadows because I think they do a really good job with their eyeshadows and their lipsticks. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little review video. Please like, comment and subscribe. And if you've got any requests, then let me know. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.